Hey, welcome back to In the Zone. Exciting night in the WIC. As many as four teams having a chance to win the conference title tonight. Sports Sense John Swanner joins us now to let us know who brought home that coveted championship. John? All right, thanks, Ross. Northview was the only team in the WIC who controlled their own destiny tonight. A win by the Knights would give them the outright WIC title, which would be their eighth conference title in the last 10 years. Impressive stuff there. Northview and Brown County will pick things up in the third quarter. The Knights trailing when Jacob Dean takes the handoff and look at the big fellow rumbling. He switches hands. He takes it 29 yards for the score, and the Knights decide to go for two. After all, you're on the road. you got to play big. So here comes the two-point conversion play. Tucker Stewart dropping back. He finds Daniel Kimball for the conversion. The Knights are now up 36-29. Now we pick it up in the fourth. Big play here. Here's Kelly Hawkins taking it off the left side. Can you tell Kelly Hawkins wants a WIC title? He reaches the end zone. That's a huge score for the Knights. It puts them up for good. They beat Brown County 43-36. Afterwards, we talked to Coach Mark Rates about his conference champion Knights. Uh, feels great. You know, we definitely don't make anything easy. Uh, came down right to the end. Luckily, we were able to uh, hang on and make make a last play when we needed it. And this is my first year here, and um, you know, we set a goal early on to win the conference, and you know, we were able to get the job done tonight. They got the job done, but not without some tense moments. The sack, they're coming up with a sack right here. That ices the game for the Knights. The Eagles were driving when the defense, the defense came up big. The last pass attempt fell incomplete. I gave the Knights the game and the conference championship. Congrats to the Northview Knights. Sullivan looking for win number six on the season. They hosted their rivals West Vigo on senior night, and it was the seniors who shine brightest. Senior Michael Willis, he keeps it himself. He darts down the left sideline for the huge gain, and the arrows are in business deep in Viking territory. A few plays later, though, this is a throw that Willis would love to have back. He badly overthrows his receiver. West Vigo's Austin Cutliffe with the easy interception in the end zone for the touchback. But the arrows would rebound. Willis this time dumping a screen pass to fellow senior Brooks Wesley, and he gets the terrific gain. Nice cut back there. Some hard running by Wesley. The arrows improved to 6 and 3 tonight with a convincing 31 to 7 win over the West Vigo Vikings. Elsewhere in the WIC, South Vermilion was at Edgewood. And the, the Wildcats getting going. This is Tanner Smith. He take, takes the hand off. And here's some nifty running. And he gets a nice gain for the Wildcat first down. But it will be the Mustangs on the move next. They're looking for a third down conversion. Deep ball here. Up for grabs. Dell Dunnigan with the nice play. He says, not on my watch, folks. Breaking up the passing play there. The Wildcats would look to get something going on their next drive. Off of a fumble, heads up play by Smith. He picks it up. He gets the nice gain down the right sideline. It's not enough, though, as Edgewood pitches the shutout over South Vermillion, 20 to nothing. So a busy day in WIC. Again, congratulations to the Northview Knights. Rick? I'll tell you what, North Knox is one of the better 4-4 four four teams around. Three of the Warriors' four losses this year have been by seven points or less. North Knox was entertaining Washington this evening as we head down to Bicknell. From the up top shot, North Knox scores right before the half on the QB sneak by Jordan Muir. Warriors down 21-6 at the break. Washington looked nothing like a winless team tonight. They play great. Hatch's defense stepping up, getting the interception deep in North Knox territory. And then check out this QB sneak by Washington, Jake Brashear. You've heard of the phrase parting the Red Sea. Heck, the whole field opens up here for Brashear on the QB keeper. He goes into the end zone untouched. Washington picks up their first win. 28-13. Congrats to Washington running back Jade Arvin, who went over a thousand yard rushing on the season tonight. Six and two North Davies hosted Springs Valley. It didn't take Colton Loniger long to run into the record books. This 26 yard TD run gave him the school record for most rushing yards in a career. Start of a big game for Loniger. Coaches love when special teams play good for you. <coughs> While Cougars special teams with a block by Jordan Allen. He scoops up the ball, almost scores. Going down at the one, you know he wanted to score. Loniger would finish it off with, get this, one of seven touchdowns. He finished with 243 on the ground. Unofficially, he finished the season 2,284 rushing yards. That's it? I don't think I can count that high. <laughs> Congratulations, Colton. North Davies wins big tonight. Coming up, we'll let you know if North Vermillion can keep their perfect season going. And we'll make stops at Rockville, Riverton Park, and head over to Illinois for a big Little Illini showdown. Big Little Illini? Little. Kind of a play on words there. <laughs> Casey and Robinson square off, winning the zone returns.